everybody hope you enjoyed watching this video now i will pass on this to bala who's going to explain about the logistics behind this beautiful trip hi everyone hope you're all doing fine uh, so continuing on further let's get to the logistics of this trip so the easiest way to get to uh, banff national park is to uh, take a flight to calgary alberta uh, that's where it's a proximity to the banff national park so pretty much once you land there um, from the airport it's around a one hour drive to get uh, close to banff national park and uh, this is a place both banff and jasper if you think of and if you are a person who has appreci appreciating nature's beauty you can easily spend around six to seven days of uh, worth of time here so fundamentally um, some of the key attractions to see in banff would be um, one of them is um, Jans Johnston Canyon, uh, which is kind of a nice hike to the lower and upper ja uh, Johnston Canyon. And it will take around two hours for the overall hike. It's a wonderful hike. Uh, you will get uh, access to the waterfalls and it's a very, uh, very pleasant hike overall back and forth. And the other thing is uh, Lake Minnewanka, which is located just few minutes off of the Johnston Canyon. It's a very uh, scenic lake where you can uh, spend some quiet time admiring the lake and its beauty. And uh, some of the other things that you could do over in Banff is Lake Lewis, which is one of the top attractions there. Um, from there, it's kind of a half an hour to 45 minutes drive from Banff to get to Lake Lewis. The waters over there are pretty serene, turquoise color. You will really appreciate the nature and the wonderful, uh, pleasant sights of Lake Lewis. And the other, other key attraction is Bow Falls, which is close to the Banff town as such. And it's a very uh, scenic waterfalls where you get very close access to the waterfall. Continuing on further from Banff to Jasper, that drive is around three to five hours, where one of the main attractions and a must see, I would say, is the Columbia Icefields Parkway, which is a very unique by, uh, by its standards, where you can just walk along the glacier and in a glass floored pathway, and you get uh, very close to the glacier. You have a wonderful view of the glacier, and it's a fantastic must to do attraction, I would say. Uh, during the trip from Banff to Jasper. Moving on further, uh, once you get to Jasper, some of the key things to see are Athabasca Falls, which is close to the upper Athabasca River. One of, once again, a very pleasant view of the falls, very relaxing and enjoyable. And there is something called Melang Canyon Cruise, which is kind of a relaxing rowboat to a countryside view, pleasant once again. And then the unique thing about Jasper is you have a lot of opportunities for natural wildlife viewing. So you just go and take a car ride and if you go on the roads, you will see some wildlife, which, which is pretty amazing in a, in a day to day life. So you see uh, some wildlife as elk, bear, uh, caribou and some mountain goats even, uh, which was uh, very surprising for us and we relished it. So yeah. Hope you would have got some good gist of the place and uh, whenever you get a chance to visit Banff and Jasper, play at, pay attention to these details and you will definitely enjoy. Thanks Bala for sharing the wonderful logistics behind this trip. I am sure all the viewers would have literally and virtually enjoyed going to this beautiful place. And uh, stay tuned for more videos from us and as always cherish life and like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you.